Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm James Schaefer. Let's get started with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. One of the men convicted in a fatal bombing at the Luxor from more than a decade ago is getting a new trial. Review Journal's Jen Ah has that story. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, James. Prosecutors have painted this case as a deadly love triangle. A federal judge granted a retrial for Omar Rueda Denvers, who prosecutors say planted a bomb on top of a car that belonged to his ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend, Willa Baldo Antonio. This happened back in 2007 atop the Luxor's parking garage. In court yesterday, attorneys from both sides made their case. They said in the last trial that there was never any battery taken from the Sedona apartment. Now pay close attention. The evidence will show it goes straight to Willow Baldo's vehicle. Rueda Denver's lawyer says his client was at the parking garage to search for his daughter and was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Testimonies will continue later today. James? Thank you, Jen. In other news, we're learning more about a former North Las Vegas firefighter accused of murder in his wife's overdose death. Authorities say 33-year-old Christopher Candido trafficked drugs with some of his colleagues at the North Las Vegas Fire Department. That's according to a federal grand jury transcript. A DEA agent says Candido exchanged texts with two other firefighters about drug purchases. A North Las Vegas spokesman confirmed that those two firefighters have been fired. They have not been charged with any crimes. And the Las Vegas pooch is competing for the title of top dog at the TSA. This is Alana. She's a four-year-old golden retriever, and she works with her handler at McCarran International Airport. Alana is one of the four finalists in the TSA's cutest canine contest. Now, if you want her to win, you can vote for her by visiting one of the TSA's accounts on social media. Voting ends tonight at 11.59 p.m. The winner will be announced August 26th, which happens to also be National Dog Day. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Oakmont of Las Vegas Assisted Living and Memory Care, the best care for the best life. A mansion in Henderson is for sale and the price is high even by mansion standards. The three-story home sits in the Seven Hills neighborhood. The asking price? $32.5 million. According to the broker, it's the most expensive home offering in Southern Nevada in a decade. There's really no way to tell whether, you know, at least right now, whether this house is going to sell for $32.5 million or whether it's even going to sell right away. Uh, you know, luxury homes often, you know, at least under normal circumstances here in Vegas, they can take months, if not, you know, a year or longer to find a buyer. Now let's take a look at your local forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour is here for you. That smoky haze will be sticking around with us all day and all night long. Today's high will be at 95 degrees with tonight's low at 75 degrees. For your weekend, that haze from today will be following through to the start of our weekend where we are planning on nothing but clear skies for our week ahead. Highs in the triple digits and lows in the mid 70s. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $500 when you sign up. The Las Vegas Lights traveled to San Diego in a losing effort Wednesday night, falling 5-1 to the Loyal SC. Cal Jennings tied the game with a goal in the 41st minute, but San Diego scored four times in the second half to take the dominant victory. The Lights will return home to Cashman Field this Saturday to take on the Oakland Roots. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental. Love your smile again. Lots of places are requiring people to get vaccinated, and soon Nevada's colleges might join that list. The State Board of Health will hold an emergency meeting on Friday to consider a vaccine mandate for public colleges and university students. Governor Steve Sisolak's medical advisory team has recommended that all students be fully vaccinated for the spring semester. Meanwhile, colleges and universities in Southern Nevada are making more of their virtual classes as COVID-19 cases rise. UNLV, the College of Southern Nevada, and Nevada State College had planned on fully allowing students back on campus this fall, but they are shifting gears. A UNLV official says they are doing this to protect vulnerable students and faculty. That has left some students frustrated. One student was left saying, quote, it's just not the same experience. 
In your entertainment news sponsored by DiscoveryNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, the team behind shows such as Opium are trying their hand at dining. Review Journal's columnist Johnny Katz has the details. The restaurant that's going to be paired with Opium at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas has been announced. It's Super Frico, an Italian-American psychedelic concept, as Ross Mollison, who's the founder of Spiegel World and of Opium, has termed it. This is the spot that used to be Rose Rabbit Lie at the Cosmopolitan. Vegas Nocturne opened in that space as well, the show in 2014. We're expecting big things on September 24th when it all kicks off. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Travel Smoky and Cigar Shop. Circa Sports has posted betting lines for the first two weeks of college football. The season opens with five games on August 28th, with Nebraska a six and a half point favorite at Illinois in the marquee matchup of the day. The rest of the teams jump into action the following week. Among the top games, number one Alabama is a 19 point favorite over number 14 Miami in a neutral site game in Atlanta, and number 12 Wisconsin is a five point home favorite over number 19 Penn state. In your business news sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, a Philadelphia-based restaurant chain is coming to Las Vegas and they're looking for some help. Chickies and Pete's will open its first West Coast location next month at the Sahara. The chain is famous for its crab fries, which are crinkle cut fries flavored with crab seasoning. The restaurant is looking for at least 50 workers for the front and back of the house. Sahara will host a job fair for Chickies and Pete's. The job fair will take place at Bella Bistro on August 25th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and on August 26th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And here's a trade show that's gone to the dogs and cats. Mandalay Bay is hosting the Super Zoo convention this week. The show features all sorts of items for pets, including a bottle that lets you give your dog water on the go. So you just squeeze to give your dog water, he drinks. <laughs> and when he's done drinking, the water just actually goes right back in the bottle. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 AM. I've been James Schaefer. If you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. And we'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 PM for the Las Vegas Review Journal. Have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.